All right, before the video actually starts, I just want to like make this little infographic on what exactly changed with the item buff because I feel like in the actual video, I didn't do a good job at like explaining what exactly changed. So yeah, uh, a lot changed to be honest, but the most important things are like listed here. The Frostbite application went from 45% on crit to 70%, which is a massive, massive change. It really does help the character a ton. Uh, he got new immunities. He got Frostbite, Cold Snap, and Nova Flame immunity, which is the first time ever that anyone's immune to that, which is pretty cool. And then the signature ability got a massive change. So up to 30 30% chance flat to uh, place a frostbite whenever you crit, right? If you have a cold snap active. So whenever you have a cold snap active at max sig, that's a 100% chance to apply a frostbite passive on the uh, on the opponent, which is just insane, right? Additionally, his SP1 cold snap went from 9 seconds to 14 seconds, which basically means that it's actually practical now, which is awesome. He's now a proper V counter, which you, you just love to see it, right? And the SP3 one got a slight increase as well, but that one isn't really as important. The heavy detonation damage got a massive increase, I think, as well. Um, no, I, it did. I still don't know if it's like a massive increase or not. I know it got increased for sure, which now allows him to have like a very proper like a kind of rotation, like to just keep up the cold snap and just maximize your overall utility and your damage, which is pretty cool. And last but not least, his ice swimmer whenever it gets removed, it causes all frostbites instantly expire right so the sp2 is now a lot more practical to like launch and just like use as a source of damage output so yeah these are the changes that happened to iceman um if i miss anything it probably wasn't too important but uh, yeah please enjoy the video all right, so the Iceman buff just dropped, and I am honestly very excited to try him out. And I've done a couple fights with him, and honestly, he feels a lot better than before. Like, honestly, he feels so much better, like, by himself without any synergies. It's just, it's a massive improvement, so I'm really happy with, like, how he's turned out. Do I think he's a top mutant now? I'm... Um, probably not i would say i still think he has like a lot of value with his immunities and his like new immunities like his noble flame immunity and his cold snap it's just it's like he added even more immunities right and he was already like he already had a ton at base so it's pretty cool and um i'm gonna start off the showcase here with some battlegrounds gameplay but this is like very very difficult battlegrounds gameplay uh this is a man thing right and man thing of course is super tanky but also um Iceman is poison immune, right? So you can just you can just take this fight just fine with Iceman. Um, and also his frostbite just like shreds through his like massive massive crit resistance. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty like good fight for Iceman. Um, it is a bit slower still just because of like the damage reduction that Man Thing has, but it's still just a pretty like clean fight. And it does take a bit of time, but to be fair, it's just a rank three Iceman. And um. Iceman, he's a bit weird. I feel like he interacts very well with Rico Masteries, but you just cannot you just cannot run them with him because he just needs to special spam. So the damage output increase is very, very nice, right? But you really just can't use him with him, unfortunately. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but he's still a decent damage dealer without him. Uh, with synergies, he goes crazy, obviously, but synergies, I don't, I'm not a big fan of them, except for like in very neat situations like the Asian Venom team, where it's just like, it's really practical characters to go along with the said champion, right? And it's only like one or two synergies. Uh, but yeah, that was like 94 seconds, which isn't bad at all. Uh, now we have the Snake Fury, who, which is like, of course, another very hard fight in Battlegrounds. This guy is such a massive annoyance because of his like two health pools. And you see right there, I knocked him down, then I dropped the SP1 immediately. And you can actually do that very, very like, uh, safely i think it's like a very safe trick to know about iceman just you like knock him down asap and then drop the sp1 and like 99 percent of the time it always connects just keep that in mind it's a pretty cool trick i do it all the time i love doing it it's just so much fun to do is it like useful not really maybe it can be but it's still pretty fun to do i would say uh but yeah this Nick fury fight is going perfectly good it's just going perfect like so far um He's holding his own for sure. He's doing like pretty decently in the in like this first life. Then we have another five frostbites. You get frostbites so easily now, and that's because of the new awakened ability. Where if the opponent has a cold snap on them, you get plus thirty percent ability accuracy on your uh frostbite placement at max sig um minus sig 100 so it's plus 18 percent so it's still an 88 percent chance to get like a frostbite, which is still very very good from the previous 45 percent, right? And that changed, uh, his immunities changed, of course, and I think his overall damage output on the heavy attack changed. By the way, I got 
I got like hit there. That was just that was just on me to be honest. But yeah, like besides that, we're still doing pretty good. And that was about a 91 second fight, which for a rank four Nick Fury against like with the rank three Iceman, it's not bad at all for sure. You like you can't really knock it, right? But now let's go into some act content because I feel like we can show his proper utility here. This is the freezer burn lane, which he could take beforehand, but he couldn't take it as safely now because if you hit their block, you get cold snap, and he wasn't using cold snap previously, but now he is. So that's that's nice it's a very fun time and this fight is the best fight in this whole video 100 percent. he just does it so well um you're gonna see like how much like he improved in this one fight because the amount of like frostbites that we get in this fight is insane because we just crit so much um here's the thing though we crit a lot right but his crit rate didn't get buffed right his precisions there are no precisions to help increase his like crit chance this is all pure luck, and I don't really like the fact that they didn't buff his crit rate at all or really give him any precisions because he's still RNG. They fixed one of the RNG aspects of him, they didn't fix the other one. And I feel like, I mean, it's it's still a massive improvement for sure, but I just wish he had like some sort of precision. I would have really appreciated that, but you know what? I'm not going to complain too much. It's fine. I still think he's a pretty good buff overall. Um, his damage output, much better than before. It, it's like still not top tier damage, but it's still pretty nice damage output. Like right there, we did have a Mutant Wrath Fury of 125% potency. So yeah, like that did help him for sure. But now we have this Biohazard Lane. Um, this is a pretty like clean fight as well because, you know, Iceman, Bleed, Poison Immune. And Ronin here has this really annoying antic about him on this specific node. So whenever you are immune to a bleed he gets a cruelty right and at seven cruelties he just gets like this massive evade and just starts evading everything that you like throw at him but iceman has his cold snap so yeah that's a pretty cool time right um it's like his cold snap is so practical now it is so so practical now it like lasts a lot longer than before beforehand it was so impractical you just like you couldn't even call him an evade counter because he just didn't have any like way to properly counter evade because his cold snap lasts like two seconds right but now it lasts a very long time in this p1 so you can just reliably counter evade and it's just a great great new addition to the iceman buff and you can see right there he had the evade icon active but we just didn't care because of the cold snap right it's just so much fun i really just enjoy this guy a lot he's so fun to play i might rank for him um i haven't decided yet he's ranked three right now by the way i just like i think it's obvious with the pi <laughs> but yeah uh like the book came out today i gave him like 100 sigs just for the fun of it and he is he's doing quite well i do admit um but yeah like i said not a top tier mutant i would say maybe on maybe in like battlegrounds because like he's a massive pain like defender now because he has more immunities his cold snap damage got improved i think on the signature ability so yeah you're just gonna be you're just gonna take like a bunch of damage also take a take a look at this do you see anything do you see like the the arena got like frozen that's insane that's so cool man i'm happy and sad about it i'm happy because it's such a nice like little feature there and i'm mad about it because why couldn't they do this with namor why couldn't we just fight in water all the time with namor that would have been just so awesome but to be fair it does ruin the sp3 if we like had to fight in atlantis every time so i, I guess it makes sense but also sandman hello just make the whole arena sand that would have been so cool to see that's just my personal like want though because i just love sand but yeah um anyways this is mixed master i forgot to mention that and he's just taking care of it perfectly fine uh you know the cold snap it's staying on for the entire fight he's just such a good cold snap champion now he used to be very bad at cold snap application uh application sorry <laughs> but yeah now it's just a much better like uh cold snap applier and it's just a very fun time so yeah i like this about him for sure he just got a lot of positive changes they got like nothing was like nerfed for him at all so yeah just a pretty fun time overall and that was only a minute so that's that's very good in my eyes and that'll do it for the showcase um this is like just a very mini introduction to iceman i want to do a proper showcase like in a little bit i want to prioritize namor first obviously and my other rank five that i haven't revealed yet but yeah i just i cannot wait man because there's so many cool champions out adam warlock looks absolutely insane as well so i cannot wait for that there's just a lot of things i'm excited for on the channel so yeah just be on the lookout but yeah let me know your thoughts on buffed iceman i think he's pretty cool overall and so yeah that's about it for me